In this section, we're going to learn how to send GraphQL mutations with Apollo. It's actually not that different from sending queries and follows the same three steps we mentioned before. There's one small difference, but logical difference, in step three. First, we're going to write the mutation as a JS constant using the GQL parser function. Next, we're going to use the GraphQL container component to wrap our component with the mutation. And last, we're going to use the mutation function that gets injected into the component's props. So let's prepare our React components to walk through this example. Like before, let's start by writing the React component where users will be able to add new links. Let's create a new file in the components directory called createLink.js. Then let's paste the following code into it. This is a standard setup for a React component with two input fields where users can provide the URL and description of the link they want to create. The data that, that's typed into these fields is stored in the component state and will be used in the create link function when the mutation is sent. But how can we actually send the mutation? Let's follow the three steps from before. First, you need to define the mutation in your JavaScript code and wrap your component with the GraphQL container. You'll do that in a similar way as with the query before. In createLink.js, add the following statement to the bottom of the file, also replacing the current export default statement. Let's take a close look again to understand what's going on. First, you create the JavaScript constant called create link mutation that stores the mutation. Now, you define the actual GraphQL mutation. It takes two arguments, URL and description, that you'll have to provide when calling the mutation. Lastly, you're using the GraphQL container to combine the create link component with the create link mutation. The name that's specified refers to the name of the prop that's injected into create link. This time, a function will be injected that's called create link mutation and that you can call and pass in the required arguments. Before moving on, you need to import the Apollo dependencies. Add the following to the top of create link.js. Again, we're going to import GraphQL and GQL from React Apollo. Let's see this mutation in action. In create link.js, implement the create link mutation as follows. As promised, all you need to do is call the function that Apollo injects into create link and pass the variables that represent the user input. Go ahead and see if the mutation works. To be able to test the code, open app.js and change render to look as the follows. Next, import the create link component by adding the following statement to the top of app.js. Now run npm start and you'll see the following screen. We should see two input fields and a submit button. Not very pretty, but very functional. Let's enter some data into the fields. For example, for the description, we're going to enter the best learning resource for GraphQL. Great. And the URL is going to be www.howtographql.com. Once again, I agree with these opinions. Then, let's click the Submit button. We won't get any visual feedback in the UI just yet, but let's see if the query actually worked by checking the current list of links in a playground. Type GraphQL Playground into a terminal and send the following query. Sweet, you'll see the following server response. Awesome, the mutation works. We did it, great job.